morning, everybody. I want to talk today about albergues. Should you book them well in advance and reserve them well in advance, or should you just be freestyle and uh, turn up and take the risk? Well, let's find out. Let's talk it through. A lot of the choices will depend on your style and uh, what stresses you out or, or doesn't. It also depends on uh, how quick you get to albergues in the day. Uh, albergues, uh, although they do book out rooms and reserve, they generally don't book all of them out. They save about 25% for people that, uh, that just turn up on the day. So if you're somebody that walks quite quickly or gets up quite early and you're going to be the first ones there when they open every day, pretty much there's always going to be a place for you. So if you book your albergue, uh, there's no stress in wondering Will I have a bed for the night where I want to stay? Uh, will I have to walk on further if all the beds are taken or even get a cab? All of those stresses are gone, but with it, so is uh, a lot of the freedom. So if you've pre-booked, certainly if you've pre-booked weeks ahead and then you meet some people that you really get along with and you want to walk with them and you want to almost make a bit of a Camino family with these people. It's a bit tricky where they're staying in one place or one town or one albergue and you've pre-booked weeks ahead. So there's uh, something that goes for, for both ways of doing it. It just depends on what kind of person you are and what you feel more comfortable with. Now there's also a compromise where you can book just a couple of days in advance rather than just turning up on the day and seeing what's there. You could just keep it a couple of days in advance and then if anything changes, you know, it's not that, that big a deal, is it? Okay, with all that being said, how do you book the accommodation in advance if you want to? Well, apps are great. I'm going to show you three apps now uh, that all work really well. It's not the only three, but uh, it's three particularly good ones. Um, and let me demonstrate it to you. You can also use guidebooks if you prefer paper, but there you go. And this first one is the Buen Camino app, which is one of the free ones, absolutely free. Uh, you can go into your daily stages, which I've done here. You can select them, uh, the ones that are included, or you can change it and edit it yourself. As an example, then we'll do Carrion de los Condes to Ledigos. That will show you the, the villages on the way. Not that many on this run, 23.2k. And as you can see, it's a 17k straight from the from the off there. Into Ledigos, look at that, it shows you the, the weather. Uh, but most useful for this, of course, is that it shows you the um, the places that you can stay. La Marina Hostel, uh, an albergue I highly recommend, um, is just there. So it's giving you the phone number in case you want to do it the normal way and just phone. It's giving you the prices, 15 euros for the albergue, 40 for a bed. Um, ratings but most importantly look reserve r n booking which takes you to booking.com so you can go straight i'm sure you're familiar with booking.com but you can go straight in there and just book it directly so you've not needed any spanish you didn't need to talk to anybody and of course through this as well you can select room upgrades so if you didn't want to be in the albergue although in this one why not it's a fantastic albergue but if you wanted a private room for the night there you go, it gives you other options as well. Um, a queen room with a shared bathroom for just €39, Euro is really cheap. Showing a bit cheaper on mine because I'm genius level 3, so I get discounts on on some of them. So, yeah, I won't carry on with that one because that's booking.com and I'm sure you know how to work that. And here we are with Camino Ninja. Um, unfortunately, the person that put this app together passed away early in 2022. So if you haven't already got that, you may not be able to download it until somebody else takes it over. But in the same way, you can choose your route. In this example, start at Burgos. Let's just go for the first one, 11k to Tardayos, Tardajos, however you say it. Uh, if we link in then, if we go to, let's say we were going to go and stay in Tardajos, uh, straight away there, look, there's uh, places you can stay, two of which are at booking.com. La Casa de Belli looks very good. Uh, you can do uh, uh, from 10 um, euros 
There it is there. Cleanliness 9, sold out on Booking.com in this one. So, uh, but again, this is Booking.com. You, you know how that works. And in we'd go uh, into it there. There's one look, 42. You could go in and book it straight in, in Booking. Now, this one's a very interesting app, Wise Pilgrim. This one costs something. This is the first one that actually costs something. Uh, so I think it's around £4.99, $5, 5 euros, um, to buy this one. It's got a bit more of a guide in it, and it's also got maps in. So if you get a bit lost, you can call up a map on this one that helps you find a way as a bonus. But it's still got exactly the same features as the others look. So we can choose somewhere that we're, we're going to stay, Hontanas, for example. And there's a list of all the places that it's possible to stay. Fuente Sidris is one that I stayed at last time. Very brand new one, uh, eco-friendly. And if we look on here, there it is in blue at the top. Reserve a bed at Albergue Fuente Sidris, straight into booking.com. Easy as that. So what would I do if I was doing it again? If I was doing the Francis again? I would probably book Ronces Fires, and that's about it uh, at the start. I would book my favourite albergues that I like to stay in if I think, you know, in a few other places that I'm going to be ending a stage there, just because I like them and I know that they're good and they're a little treat to look forward to. And I would absolutely uh, book the last 100k. Well, I hope that's helped as always. Come on, like it, subscribe, help me out, help me build this channel up a little bit. It only takes two seconds of your time, it doesn't cost you anything, and it's going to really help me. So if you haven't subscribed, please do. If you have, thank you very much, I love you very much. Buen camino, everyone. <laughs>